Can't someone else save the day? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reluctant anime heroes. I can't help but feel like I should be doing something more than I am. But what? It all seems so pointless. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at anime characters that are unwilling, hesitant, or, or just too lazy to answer the call of adventure. These characters value their normal lives over the chance to become a hero, most of the time. Mother! Why didn't you wake me up in time for the first film? <gasps> Number 10, Luluko. Space Patrol Luluko. Luluko is a normal 13-year-old girl that wants nothing more than to live a normal life. It's too bad for her that she lives in the only town on the entire planet that is inhabited by both humans and aliens. Combine this with the fact that her father works for the local police force that investigates space crime with extreme prejudice, and her chances of a normal life seem pretty slim. Things take a total left turn when her father accidentally freezes himself during breakfast, forcing Luluko to work for the space patrol temporarily in order to foot the bill. Number 9, Kid Muscle, Ultimate Muscle, the Kinnikuman Legacy. King Muscle's son has the power. You'll believe the legend skipped a generation once you meet him. He may be our only hope. There's only one thing manlier than wrestling, intergalactic wrestling. Who wouldn't want to grapple alien invaders with their bare hands to save the planet, right? Well, it turns out it's the one fighter that Earth desperately needs. Kid Muscle, son of the legendary King Muscle, is the latest in the bloodline to inherit Ultimate Muscle. Oh. Sorry, Grandpa. Not as sorry as I am. It seems you're our best hope to battle evil supervillains on Earth. Heaven help us all. However, Kid would much rather sing songs about his rice bowls and laze around than save the planet. With my rice, I like to have some cow, cow, cow. It tastes so very good, I don't know how, how, how. Number 8, Simon. Tengen Tapa Gurren Lagan. There are only so many things you can do in an underground village. Drilling holes seems to be the path Simon has chosen. <laughs> Contrary to what you might think, though, his drilling skills don't exactly fill him with gusto, and as a result, his confidence is pretty low. Luckily, he has the boisterous Kamina to encourage him at every turn. Don't believe in yourself. Huh? Believe in me! Believe in the Kamina who believes in you! What's that mean? <laughs> While Simon may think that his brother is more suited to the job as leader, it's that first shaky step he took that set him on the path to becoming one of the most badass heroes in anime history. Guren Lagan, spin on! Who the hell do you think I am? Number seven, Yusuke Urameshi, Yu Yu Hakusho. Whoa, watch out, kid! Don't go into the road! Huh? <laughs> Dying sucks. It's even worse when your death was so pointless that even the spirit world doesn't know what to do with you. Yusuke, a 14-year-old delinquent, finds himself in this very situation after he learns that the kid he risked his life to save would have been fine anyway. In other words, your death was a complete and utter waste. <laughs> after a series of tests, he becomes a spirit detective, a job he's not actually thrilled to have. Whether it's the offer of fight tickets or the kidnapping of his lady friend, it takes a serious shove to get this hero off his ass. Back him out! <laughs> Number six, Shinichi Izumi, Parasite, the Maxim. Oh, so cool. Oh, so cool. What would you do if your right hand suddenly started talking? If you're anything like this hero, you'd consider chopping it off pretty quickly. Shinichi is a 16-year-old high school student who one day finds out that his right arm has been replaced with the parasite named Migi. Understandably shocked, Shinichi attempts to inform the police, and if things couldn't get any worse, he runs into other deadly parasites. <laughs> Realizing that he isn't the only one with a bug problem, and that Migi will poke his eyes out if he tries anything funny, Shinichi has no choice but to fight for the survival of the human race. <laughs> Number five, Toma Kamijo, a certain magical index. Want something, kid? A beating, maybe? Well, we all have some bad luck, but Toma just might take the cake. 
destroyed belongings, spoiled food, a broken air conditioner, and a heat wave, all this in one day. Not exactly an ideal way to live, but this streak of misfortune has an upside. Despite being a level zero, the lowest rank possible for a student in Academy City, he has the ability to negate all manner of supernatural forces with his right hand, including magic, esper skills, and divine blessings such as, you guessed it, luck. It's not a bad thing to have when you run into a dangerous, fire-wielding sorcerer, though it may be the worst when it comes to having a normal life. Okay, that's strange. Well, what a surprise! Nothing's happening! <laughs> Number 4. Usagi Tsukino, Sailor Moon Being the leader of a team of magically powered girls, you would expect the iconic Sailor Moon to be the epitome of bravery and focus. However, our first impression of her is quite different. Luna, help me! I don't know what to do! She's a carefree middle student whose efforts lead to bad grades. She doesn't take the job as Sailor Moon very seriously at first, and it's hard to see how she ever becomes a hero when she's screaming in the middle of a battle. But thankfully, Luna and her friends are there to make sure she doesn't run away. You have to save her! Ms. H, you're right! She's still in there! <laughs> Number 3. Amaro Ray, Mobile Suit Gundam So this is their... secret weapon! Let's be honest here, we'd all jump at the chance to pilot a giant robot, right? Amuro is the first in the franchise to use one of these bad boys when he boards the RX-782 during an attack on his colony by the Principality of Xeon. With the help of the Gundam's enhanced specs and some quick reading, he's only to win his first fight with only some minor losses. However, his hasty decision to pilot the Gundam strips him of any chance of returning to a normal life, as he's forced into conscription by the military, shouldering him immense responsibility and expectations. I... Now listen to me, Amaro. As long as you can work the Gundam, you're a pilot, not a kid anymore. Your duty now is to protect this ship. <laughs> Number 2. Gohan, Dragon Ball Z Goku! <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Hey! Who's the kid? You trying to earn some extra cash babysitting or something? He's my son. <laughs> Your son! When you're the son of the strongest fighter on the planet, you've got some seriously big shoes to fill, and Gohan might just be able to do that thanks to his explosive power level. <laughs> this half Saiyan shares many of the qualities with his father, but at first he doesn't have the same courage thrown into a jungle to fend for himself by Piccolo, confronted by deadly sands, sent to another planet, and eventually pitted in a fight to save his home planet. Gohan's arc is one that goes from wimpy to purely badass. Number 1. Shinji Ikari, Neon Genesis Evangelion Why did you send for me? You know why I sent for you. So, you're asking me to take this thing and go out there and fight? Correct. How can you do this to me? Once again, who doesn't want to pilot a giant robot? Well, our number one doesn't, that's for sure. Shinji is a newly transferred student to Tokyo 3, and he arrives at a pretty bad time. The city is under attack by mysterious life forms known as angels, and he finds out that his dad didn't exactly ship him in for some bonding time, but solely so he can pilot Unit 01. I mustn't run away. I mustn't run away. I mustn't run away. Combine sleepless nights, daddy issues, and a traumatizing series of battles, and you have a main character who really, really doesn't want to get in that robot. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.